Earl Grey Middle School in Toronto has banned the use of cell phones in classrooms, a decision that has many students upset and parents divided over how much screen time their child should be allowed at school. Well, I think we, uh, the students should have a say, and if we do leave it in our lockers, oh, yeah. someone might steal it or something. I think it's unfair because we use our phones for many different reasons, not just for like texting. We have calculators, oh, translation, if you're like in French immersion or French extended. Be able to communicate with my child. I don't think that's a good idea. Making sure that they made it home safely. My mom really likes the phone, Ben. She, she actually likes it so much that that she took my phone, really so I couldn't use it at all. There's a lot of cases where like people broke into lockers at our school. The school introduced a rule to help the students focus in class rather than be tempted to check their devices. The Toronto District School Board says the ban comes after requests from parents and discussion with teachers. Parents had identified with the principal their concerns over cell phone use. Not only were they becoming a distraction, but at the same time, uh, there was some negative and inappropriate use. So it's important to note that, in general, the TDSB supports the use of technology in the classroom. It really is important, and we're seeing it more and more. We're seeing, you know, great apps uh, for kids learning math or what have you, or as a research tool. So we encourage the use of technology in the classroom, whether that is a smartphone, uh, a laptop, a tablet. So we really do encourage that. And in this specific case, that's still going to continue. What we're trying to cut down on is the distraction that they've become in certain cases. In my 25 years of teaching, I can honestly say that I have seen a rapid increase in this lack of focus. Children can no longer sit for a prolonged period of time without the presence of this addictive form of stimulation called the cell phone. Cell phone bans aren't exactly new for Toronto schools. In 2007, when Apple released its first iPhone, the TDSB later released a ban on all cell phone usage. That ban was later lifted in 2011. Well, the board said teachers could waive the cell phone ban if it served a particular purpose for a lesson that was planned for that day. While well, Earl Grey School's decision comes with parent consultation, others are not too happy about the decision. In Toronto, I'm Lucas Duraco, Say News.